Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a password using C++. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import iostream at the top of your code. Now, what is a valid password? Well, that definition can vary, so in this tutorial we're going to check the length of the password to make sure it's greater than a minimum value, which is a type of length check. Then we're going to check if it has an uppercase character, a lowercase character, a digit, and a special character. And the password needs to have at least one of each of those types of characters. If the password matches all of the criteria I've just stated, it's valid, otherwise it's invalid. So let's get right into it. We've got a string user input here. This line represents user input. I won't be teaching you how to get user input in this tutorial, only how to validate it. Then we've got C out, bool alpha, a validate password user input. Also, we have got our STDs because that is better practice to do. Don't worry about validate password, that's our function, I'll define that in a moment. Bool alpha, that basically means any boolean in this print statement, our C out statement, will be printed as a true or a false as opposed to a zero or a one. Because in C++, booleans are printed as zeros and ones as opposed to their normal falses and trues. So this is our definition. So we've got bool because we're going to return a true or a false, true for valid, false for invalid. Validate password is the name of our function. std string input, that's our parameter. It's going to be a string and it's the password we want to validate. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do if input.length is less than 6, return false. Basically a little length check. Click the eye up in the corner. For a playlist on different types of length checks you can do in C++. But basically, we're checking the length of our string. We can do dot .length to do so. And we're going to check if it's less than 6. If it's less than 6, return false. Because I don't care if it's got all the other criteria. It's not long enough. Therefore, we're rejecting it. After that, we are going to create four booleans. So we got bool has upper equals false, bool has lower equals false, bool has digit equals false, and bool has special equals false. So these are our four booleans, and each one represents a criteria for having an uppercase character, lowercase character, digit, and special character. Basically, when we find one of these in our password, we set these to true, and then at the end, we check all of them to see if they're all true or not. After that, we're going to do four char cha colon input so this is a different type of for loop this is a for each loop basically we're going to be looping through our string like it was an array and we're going to be checking each character in that string and for each loops are usually better for performance however you lose the advantage of having an index however if you want to do a simple loop through array for each is usually better if you don't need the index or to control which way you flow through the array. And then inside we are bas we've basically got four if statements. So we've got if is upper cha has upper equals true. So this if statement is checking if the current character we're checking in this array is an uppercase character. If it is, return tr uh, set has upper to true. If it's not an uppercase, we're going to check if it's a lowercase. So we do is lower cha. This checks if the character is lowercase. If it is, has lower is set to true. However, if this isn't a lowercase character, we then check if it's a digit. So we can do else if is digit cha. If this character is a digit, set has digit to true. So if it's not a digit, we're then going to check if it's not an alphanumeric number. So alphanumeric is basically anything that's in the alphabet or a number. So if this character isn't in the alphabet or is a number, we're then going to do has special equals true. So if it's not a number or a letter, it could be uppercase or lowercase, then it's going to be a special character because that's what a special character is. So we can do has special equals true. And we put an exclamation mark because by default this is al num will check if the character is a number or a letter but if we do a not we're checking if it's not a character or a letter and we do not with an exclamation mark in c++ after that we are then going to do a separative statement and we're going to do has upper and has lower and has digit and has special so basically we're going to check if all of our booleans are true 
and we're using an AND operator, meaning for this overall if statement to be true, all of these booleans have to be true. If at least one is false, the overall outcome of this if statement is false. That's some boolean algebra for you. And basically, if all of these are true, there's no point checking the rest of the string because we already know it matched the criteria. So we're just going to do, we're going to do break to exit this for loop. Underneath the for loop, or the for each loop I should say, we are going to do return has upper and has lower and has digit and has special. This is the exact same logic as here. Basically, we want to check if all of the booleans are true. If they're true, and every single one of them is true, return true because the password is valid. If at least one is false, the password is invalid as it doesn't have all the criteria we're looking for, so we return a false overall. And that's it for this tutorial, so be sure to save your work. And for the password, we're going to do a couple of a few lowercase a's, then an uppercase a, a b, a one, two, and a special character, in this case an exclamation mark. And it's true because it matches all of the criteria, but what if we did loads of a's? It's got the right length, but it lacks the complexity of the password. Now let's do uppercase a, lowercase t, one, and a few a's. Well, it's invalid, because while it has most of our criteria, it does lack a special character. So let's add in a special character. Now hit play. Oh no, it's false. Because, well, it's not long enough. Let's do something random. And see what happens. Well, it's false, because something random might be long enough has a lowercase character and an uppercase character, but it lacks a digit and something special. So that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.